Welcome to Brad's Outdoor Adventures. Today, I'm going to teach you about the white-tailed deer, their size, and what they do. The whitetail is a medium-sized deer native to the United States, Canada, Mexico, Central America, and South America. They are herbivores. Their height is about 2.8 to 3.3 feet for adults at the shoulder, and the males average 150 pounds for the adults, and the females are around 100 pounds also for the adults. Did you know that humans are the white-tailed deer's only major predator? White-tailed deer grow their horns through a stage called velvet. They start off little, grow bigger, 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 and keep growing until they reach their point where they scrape their horns off to make them look shiny, and they are in their biggest peak, and then they shed them off. In a white-tailed buck, the antlers typically reach development around five to six years of age. A white-tailed buck's main antler beam curves forward without diving or branching. Antlers are the fastest growing bones in the world. Yep, the fastest. You can almost see them grow. In fact, there are times when you can actually notice a measurable difference after one or two days. The white-tailed deer has a very broad range of different shapes and sizes for their antlers. White-tailed deer are hunted for game and are very tricky to hunt it sometimes, but you will eventually get one. White-tailed deer fight and are conditioned to claim a territory so they will have first rights to breeding. This begins shortly after velvet is shed and continues until the spring when antlers are shed. Thank you for watching Brad's Outdoor Adventures. If you liked this video, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for more videos and I'll see you next time.